For now on so today my story time is going to be about why I started my YouTube y'all think it's gonna be all interesting huh or maybe not I don't know. Anyway, okay guys so this is why I started YouTube well this is one of them this is I'm gonna tell y'all about the what what pushed me to say let's do it okay because there's a lot of things that led up to why I started a YouTube channel if you guys don't know, my daughter Neek, she has a YouTube channel. It's called Life as Neek. Um, well, she have a few she, uh, different ones. Anyway, Life as Neek is one of them. And I was inspired by her, of course. But people would always ask me, you should do a YouTube channel. Because, you know, I would be on her YouTube and people like me. They like my personality. But I never even gave it a second thought. Uh, Janae would always say, um, Cindy, one day you're going to be a star. One day, anyway, she thought that about me. <laughs> That's because she loved me. Oh, anyway, so what actually pushed me to do it, do it is so I think I'm funny. A lot of people think I'm funny. I think I have a good advice. I've been through a lot in life, and sometimes when you've been through a lot, People would rather hear your story than hear something come out of book because you actually been through it. You've actually lived it. I can say, oh, I, I know about this situation because I remember when I, I got a story behind everything. Somebody could be telling me my kids or my daughter-in-law or something, she'll come and tell me that something happened and I always have a story. <laughs> Uh, I don't just come and say, well, you should do this. I'll be like, girl, one time that happened to me and this is what I did. So y'all never believe how many stories I have. It's actually really funny. I'm definitely going to start doing story time more often because I do have a lot of stories. So anyway, back to what prompted me, like really prompted me, the icing on the cake. So. And, it, and it's a good lesson in this as well. The lesson is follow your heart, follow your mind, always pray before you do anything because, you know, God could speak, be speaking to you. He could be talking to you um, through, through people, through just, just pay attention to stuff, right? Anyway, I um, was on my way to get my nails done. Now, my nail tech was out of town. She's out of the country and I am really, really, really picky with my nails. The reason why is because I have these like fat, chubby fingers and if my nails are not done right, then I just feel like all manly and stuff, right? So I was driving down the street. I'm like, God, help me. Help me to go to a nail shop that's going to do my nails right. People might think that's a crazy prayer, but I pray, I pray about some of the craziest stuff. I'm like, God, help me to say the right things in this video. God, help me to um, make sure my food is delicious so my family will like it. You know, I'm just really weird with my prayers. I talk to God and I ask him for just about anything. So I'm driving down the street. I got to be somewhere for 6 o'clock. And I still haven't got dressed, had a bath, nothing. And... Um, I'm just in my own world talking to God. So I look over to the right and I'm like, whoops, where? Found a nail shop. I had no idea, read no reviews on them, never been there, never even saw it before. I go in and one of my friend girls, Sharetta, I hadn't saw her in years, years. But she was one of my good, good, good friends. Back in the days we went to like middle school together. I love her. I love her personality. She has always had a great spirit. So when I walked in, I'm like, ah! Know, all 
that stuff when you haven't seen a good friend in a long time. So um, we did some catching up and, you know, she shared some things with me, how God was uh, uh, working on her and, um, you know, situations were working through her and came uh, so that she can have a testimony to help people, blase, blase. So... It did it. I thought about it. I was like, whoa, well, wait a minute. When I walked in, I kind of interrupted her with a conversation with another lady and the lady was crying or whatever. But like, I didn't even take time to find out what was going on because I was so happy to see her. I'm like, ah, you know, all that stuff. Anyway, I said, well, wait a minute. What were you guys over there crying about? And she said, oh, I was just prophesizing to her. And I'm like, oh, okay. You're a psychic now? <laughs> All right, I was just playing, but you know, we can like joke with each other like that. I'm like, tell me something. Uh, so anyway, she told me, she said, uh, well, Jacinda, I got some stuff to tell you. And, um, I was like, okay, she shared some things with me that I already knew, but it, she was confirming it. And I'm like, okay, okay, thank you. I needed to hear that. And then she told me, she said, Jacinda, you are going to have a platform where you're going to speak to people. People are going to hear you. You're going to be able to reach out to people. You're going to be able to share stories with people to help them. And, um, you know, as she was talking, it was just confirmation because I had been, from the beginning, I was like, no, I'm not going to do a YouTube. I'm not going to do a YouTube. And I started feeling like gradually that I should start. Things were just happening to make me feel like it's okay to do it for a long time I was scared to put my life out there I'm scared of people uh saying stuff because I get so angry sometimes and I want to clap back you know so I was like uh-uh that's not for me but I felt really good at that moment I felt like okay you know I had already put one video out and um it did good and so all of, out of nowhere I wasn't scared anymore I came home the next day when I got home from work and did a cooking video. Then I did a reaction video and it just did so good. I'm like, I'm a natural at this. Anyway, and my nails came out good that day. So I went to a good nail shop that I prayed to go to. My nails were really, really good. As a matter of fact, I've been there twice since. Three times. Sorry, old nail lady. I still love you and I'll be back. But um, I... My nails look good. My I had good conversation. I had to be somewhere for six o'clock that day. I was so caught up in talking, I didn't even leave there to six o'clock. <laughs> I was late as usual, but it was so worth it. I, I mean, I just drove home with a smile on my face and I couldn't wait to get my video started. So with that being said, um, it also where I was feeling like I should not do a YouTube because it's my daughter's thing. Da, da, da. It made me feel okay to accept the fact that my daughter paved the way for me to be able to have a platform to reach out to people. Um, and I just want to say I appreciate you guys so much for allowing me to share part of my life with you, for leaving me those beautiful comments i love 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 all of the compliments um and i am just excited to be able to share some more with you guys especially story time so look forward to me every thursday sharing a little piece of my life with you guys Hopefully every Monday I can post some cooking videos. I am a really good cook, but I work a lot, so I don't get to cook as much as I want to. Hopefully I'll be able to cook a little bit more. And um, yeah, I truly appreciate you guys so much. And mm, 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 mm. I need you guys to like this video. Subscribe to Cindy's channel. Leave me a comment. Give me some suggestions of things we uh, we can talk about. Um, story time, mug bangs, etc. All right, guys. Thank y'all. Have a great evening. Mwah.